Hey everybody, welcome back. It's getting a little chilly outside, but you know, it's a beautiful day, so I still wanna bust out the grill. And I'm gonna do one of my favorite kind of light, but still comforting recipes, which is a rosemary flank steak and a white bean salad. First things first, let's get this flank steak on the grill. So I got my grill nice and preheated. You can see the smoke. And I seasoned it with a little bit of salt, pepper, and fresh rosemary. Gave it a good brushing of olive oil just to kind of make everything adhere. And flank steak's kind of lean. So I like having the olive oil on there just to help facilitate browning. So make sure this is making nice contact with the grill. While my flank steak sears, I'm gonna get started on the salad. It's super easy. I already chopped up some of my veggies inside. I've got some fresh parsley, some thinly sliced shallot, some diced tomato, and then I have uh, capers that I just roughly chopped to kind of disperse them well. Oh, made a little mess there. And then we'll go in with some lemon juice, just fresh lemon juice. Over top, okay. And then I'll hit it with some olive oil. And now this salad will be fairly salty um, from the capers. I'll hit it with just a dash of salt, but take it easy because the capers are gonna add a lot of salinity. But then I'll go in with some fresh cracked pepper and then give it all a toss together. And like I said, this is super easy, just a little bit of vegetable prep, but the flavors of this just work really well together. And then you get that steak on there and it's just a nice, complete meal. Rotate this just a little bit, getting those grill marks, getting nice browning on that first side. So I'll just give her a quick flip. Go back on with the lid again. One nice addition to this recipe is I'm gonna make some crostini on the grill. Uh, the flank steak's cooking right now, so I'm gonna get the crostini ready. Because there's nothing kind of starchy in that uh, salad, this will add a nice little crunchy contrast. Uh, you can eat it with the salad or on the side, but whenever you have coals like this and you get your grill hot, I hate wasting all those coals at the end when the steak's resting. So why not just toast up the crostini right on the grill and it'll go really nicely with this salad. So my flank steak is looking good. I just took the temp, it's right around 120, which is where I like it because I'm gonna pull it out and tent it with some foil and let it rest. Now it will continue to cook just a little bit more, especially if with the foil tent on there. So we will get this guy over top. That'll help keep it warm while it rests because in the summertime I don't worry about it as much, but when it's cool like this, I definitely wanna tent it. And then I'll go right on with the crostini. So I'm gonna go right on those grates over good high heat because I really want to get them nicely toasted. My crustinis are toasting up nicely. It's got a little char on it, but I don't mind. I like a little bit of char. Yeah, those are looking great. So, check them all. Yeah, those are beautiful. Great. So I'll just take some of this garlic here, this raw clove, and just scrape it right onto the surface. Now that's gonna give you all that good garlic flavor without having to mince a bunch of garlic or anything like that, infuse it into butter. This just works really well. It just scrapes right on and gives the bread tons of garlic flavor. My steak has had a little time to rest. And with flank steak, you always wanna cut against the grain, but one great tip for it is before you start cutting, cut it in half with the grain once. That'll just make it that much more easy to manage when you start cutting thin slices. So now I'll go against the grain. That a slight bias here, just a little bit of an angle, kinda of plates nicely that way. But now we'll have nice thin slices of flank steak. It's a little more manageable by splitting it in half like that. All right, I've got some slices of the flank steak down. I'm gonna get ready to plate this up. So I've got the plate. First things first, we'll get the salad down onto the plate. Makes a nice little base for this. Go on top with some of these pieces of flank steak. Just kinda, to just kinda drape them over the salad a little bit. And then, right on the side, I'll serve up a few pieces of this crostini. And then I've got a little bit, some parsley here. Get a little fancy, throw a couple garnishes of parsley. I like the flavor anyways, it's in the recipe, why not? You always end up with way too much parsley anyway, so why don't you garnish with a little bit, right? And there you have it, a rosemary flank steak with white bean salad. And then we went ahead and used the grill to make up some crostini as well. So I'm gonna dig in, and I'm just gonna get some of this crostini, right? Get a little bit of the white bean right on there because, and make it almost like a little open-faced sandwich, because why not? 
All right, and join me again next time for another great recipe.